Google Earth allows you to explore the entire world, but there are some places you should never search. Welcome back, Charlie here. You're about to see some of the most scary and mysterious places on Google Earth. But I have to warn you, many of these places have incredibly dark backstories. First, let's head over to Norman's K in the Bahamas. There is something very mysterious hiding in these waters. Can't see it? What about now? As you can see, there is a plane in the water. You may wonder what happened to this crashed plane, and why has it never been recovered? Well, this plane was actually owned by one of the most evil men to ever live. I am talking about Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar is the most famous drug lord and narco-terrorist of all time. He was the founder and sole leader of the Medellin cartel of Colombia, and he is responsible for taking over 4,000 lives. But how did his plane end up here? Well, Pablo Escobar had many planes going from the USA to Colombia. On the way, the planes would use Norman's K as a refueling point. But this plane did not make it to Norman's K before it could refuel. The crew dumped all of their illegal cargo into the sea. This was so the plane would run on less fuel. But this wasn't enough and the plane still crashed into the sea, taking the life of the pilot and co-pilot. Everyone was way too scared to touch this plane and even the local government did not want to go near it because of how feared Pablo Escobar was. So that's why to this day Pablo's plane remains here, rotting away and dissolving underwater. Now let's take a trip to Florida, USA. Take a look at this neighborhood. It looks pretty normal, right? Well, that's what everyone thought for 20 years, until one man who was browsing Google Earth noticed something strange. If you zoom in, you can make out a shape in this lake. And this shape is actually a car. The car belonged to a man named William Mould. When he was 40, he went for a drive one night and never returned home. It was a mystery because him and his car were never found. His family lost hope, but they never forgot about William. But after 20 years, someone noticed the car on Google Maps. The Google Earth user contacted authorities, and they pulled the car out of the lake. Inside, they found a body, and it was later confirmed to be William. Found 22 years after he went missing. It's believed William accidentally drove off the road and into this lake. It's very sad that he passed away, but his family were grateful to finally have an answer as to what happened to him after all these years. Now they can finally have closure, and know that William did not run away and abandon them. Moving on, let's take a look at this scary discovery made in Antarctica. In 2020, a Google Earth user spotted something strange in Antarctica. As you can see, it appears there is a body that's been left in the snow. There are many research stations in Antarctica, and it's believed one of these scientists may have ventured out and got lost in the snow. It's a very creepy and mysterious find, but because this place is so remote, no one is able to go out here and check. Maybe at some point in the future, we will have more answers about this mysterious figure. But for now, who this figure is remains a Google Earth mystery. But I think an even more mysterious place on Google Earth is found in Aragua Island. Aragua Island is a tiny island in Tanzania. If you go here on Google Earth, there isn't much to see, but there is a photosphere. If you click on this, you see something incredibly scary. There appears to be a dark and dingy room. All over the walls, there are red splatters. And written on the door, it says you trusted the wrong guy. It also says you're too late, turn back now. And there also appears to be a figure holding some kind of weapon. You may be asking, what's going on here? The room does seem to be real, but clearly things have been added. For example, the man appears to be computer generated, and some of the graphics also look fake. But either way, this location raises many questions. Where is this actual room? Who created this image? And why did they put it on a Rugwa island? It's safe to say this place is incredibly creepy and mysterious. Some have even compared it to the back rooms. But right now, this find remains a Google Earth mystery. Now let's move on to a scary Google Earth location which is not mysterious at all. 
In fact, we almost know too much about this place. If you go to this neighborhood on Google Maps, it looks pretty normal. And when you enter Street View mode, you simply see nice houses on a sunny day. Except for this place. You may wonder why one house on this street is blurred out. Why would Google Maps censor this house? Well, this house was one of the worst crime scenes in America. The house is 2207 Seymour Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. It belonged to a man named Ariel Castro. He is one of the most evil criminals to ever live. He kidnapped and imprisoned three women at this house. He kept them captive in the basement for over 10 years. But eventually one of these women escaped and they were freed. Of course, after Ariel was arrested and imprisoned, the house was abandoned. But because the house is so creepy, many people began breaking in. They had a morbid curiosity about how the inside of this evil house looked. So that's why Google Maps decided to blur out the house. They hoped that by censoring this house, less people would go here and break in. I'm not sure why anyone would want to go to this terrifying house. And I can see why Google Maps chose to censor this house. Now let's head over to the island of Fiji. Do you notice anything strange off the coast of this tropical island? If not, then how about now? As you can see, a plane has crashed off the coast of this island. Oil has leaked out of the plane into the sea. And this bright light is the plane reflecting in the water. It's scary to think who could have been on this plane. I did some research, but it seems the reason this plane crashed is unknown. Now let's look at a very mysterious place found underwater. This location is found off the coast of the Bahamas. You may be wondering what these mysterious squares are in the water, but here's where things get even more weird. You can actually go into Street View underwater. Many believed that this was some kind of lost city found underwater. And there were even some people online speculating this may be the lost city of Atlantis. But I have an explanation for this mystery. It turns out these mysterious underwater structures are actually a coral nursery. Fragments of coral are placed on metal coral trees. They then grow large and healthy enough to become coral reefs. This is a project being done by people restoring the coral reefs of the Bahamas. Various other coral nurseries have been found on Google Earth. And many people wrongly believe they're Atlantis or some kind of lost city. Atlantis may be real, but it certainly is not here. Now, going back on land, let's look at this very small town in the Czech Republic. This place looks like a ghost town. But what if I told you it literally is? If you enter Google Street View mode on this church, you can see it's filled with ghosts. The church is called Costel Severo Giri, and all around the abandoned church are statues of ghosts. Some believe these statues may have been grave markers, but it's very eerie how they appear to be sitting on the pews as if they're real people. Of course, many say this church is haunted. It was created in 1352 and is no longer used today. It's safe to say this is one very terrifying sight to see. Moving on, let's look at this very scary site in Antarctica. In the Antarctic Ocean, there is a very mysterious dark blob. But if you zoom into this blob, you see what appears to be a kraken. Krakens are said to be gigantic octopuses. And it does appear that this could be what we're looking at right now. The creature does appear to be an octopus, and it's clearly massive in size. It also seems to have a big white eye, and is making humongous waves in the water. This area of the ocean is very unexplored, and researchers say we don't really know what lives in the Antarctica waters. So perhaps krakens or something similar are a real phenomena here. Also in Antarctic waters appears to be a real megalodon shark. At least that's what many people are calling it. Located in this dark patch of water seems to be a massive ocean creature. Some have said this could be a whale or shark, but others say it's far too big to be any kind of modern creature. And that's why some speculate this could be a real-life megalodon still alive today. Finally, let's head over to Houston, Texas to see one more very scary Google Earth mystery. This looks like a very ordinary cul-de-sac, until you enter Google Street View mode. Then if you approach the house at the end of this road, you see a very ominous dark figure on this unbuilt house. 
There are many theories as to who this could be. Strange dark figures have been reported all over Texas before, and many say that Google Maps caught a Mothman-like creature on camera here. But right now, this remains a total mystery, and we don't really know what this is. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which Google Earth find was the most scary. If you want to see my short videos, check out my second channel. Thanks for watching, I've been Charlie. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.